Hi, I'm Dustin Weiniger. About a year ago or so, I did a video comparing traditional black powder to its extremely popular substitute, Pyridex. Now, as of this recording, that video has had more views than any of my other videos at all, but I've always felt that it was a little incomplete, and I've even had a few of you viewers point out that it was incomplete because there was no chronograph testing. We weren't able to see the velocity or the foot-pounds of energy. So today, I'm going to revisit that subject of black powder versus Pyridex with a chronograph. So we'll be able to see the velocity that each one gets. We're going to see the foot-pounds, the power factor, especially for you competitors that need to know that. I'll fire a five-shot group with each powder, and the gun I'll be using for this experiment is the massive Colt Walker revolver. That one's always fun to see, and it throws a big powder charge. I'll be using 40 grains by volume of each, so I'll fire my five-shot groups and see how it does. Why don't we go get started? Here's the loading procedure that I'll use on each chamber. I'm adding 40 grains by volume of powder, followed by a round ball, in this case, 0.454 diameter balls. Each one will be rammed all the way down with the loading lever and the rammer. I'll move away the ring of lead and top each chamber off with my homemade black powder lube, which is made from beeswax and lamb tallow. Now I'm adding number 10 percussion caps to each of the nipples. First the black powder. Here are the results for the black powder. Now I fired five shots, but you may notice I only have four recorded. That's because there was one error with the chronograph on one shot. Well, at the top, you can see the distance from the chronograph was 20 feet and that I'm firing a 140 grain round ball. Below that, you can see each shot's feet per second, velocity, foot pounds of energy, and power factor. Now below that, you can see that I had an average velocity of 1,082 feet per second a minimum of 1,053, maximum of 1,097, which is a spread of 44. Actually fairly impressive for a black powder handgun. Well, why don't we go out now and try the Pyrodex? And here are the Pyrodex results. You can see at the top it's the same distance from the chronograph, same 140 grain ball, but you may also notice that these velocities, energies, and power factors are higher than black powder. Now I've got an average of 1,152 feet per second, minimum of 1,134, max 1,190 for a spread of 56. So Pyrodex is definitely generating more pressure and energy and therefore velocity than the black powder. And here they are side by side. Now of course you can take a screenshot of this if you're interested and if your device allows it. Well there was one error in each of the five shot groups on the chronograph so we've got good fair data. 
And again, just a quick reference, average velocity, 1,082 feet per second with black powder versus 1,152 in Pirate X. Well, let's take a look at how those five shot groups did in terms of accuracy. On the left is the black powder group, and on the right, the Pirate X. Now on the left, you can see that the shots are all a little high. That's because that's how my walker shoots, and I was aiming right at the center X of the target. Now this group is actually not bad, and both of these groups were fired from a distance of 15 yards. This is a group of roughly two inches across, and just about two and a half inches high. Over on the right, the Pirate X, it's just a little wider going left to right, and you can see I had one shot go a bit high. So I got a little tighter group with the black powder than I did with the Pyrodex. Now on the Pyrodex target, if you take a look down in the lower portion of the target, you'll notice that 38 caliber hole. Well, that's just compliments of the lady who was shooting next to me and a new shooter. I suppose that's just one of the joys of shooting at the public range on a Saturday. One other thing I'd like to discuss before closing is fouling and how dirty the bore is going to get after each powder. On the left is what the bore looked like after five shots of black powder, and on the right is after five shots of Pyrodex. And I did clean the bore before each group so that you could see a fair comparison. Well, after only five shots, neither powder fouled up the bore too bad. But if you look closely, the Pyrodex did foul it a little more than the black powder. In fact, the fouling even seems to grow out a little bit and develop strands going across the bore. I've seen that every time I've shot Pyrodex and never really noticed it with black powder. Now for cleaning, I'm not going to do a cleaning demonstration in this video because I've done numerous videos on it before, and I will leave a link to one of them in the description below. And both the methods are the same, regardless of each powder you're using. You could use the mousse milk solution followed by Ballistol, like I do, or like black powder, you could even just clean your Pirate X with hot soapy water, then make sure the gun is dried and oiled. Now as for me, I'm still definitely a fan of the traditional black powder, but it's not available to everybody everywhere, and shipping can get expensive, so some people need to use a substitute. Some people even just prefer a substitute, maybe to get that extra velocity that you saw from Pyrodex. Well, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and informative. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and you can click that bell to make sure you get notified of other videos, including more chronograph testing. Thank you so much, as always, for watching.